Hello, welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. I hope you're all enjoying it just as much as I am, which is to say that I'm bloody enjoying it. Now, anybody that's watched this channel for a long time will know that not only do I live in the United States, but I have quite an appreciation for the United States and have done uh, since I was a little child when I learned all of the states, all 50 states, and all of their capitals. But one thing I didn't learn was where all of these states were situated on a map. It was just good enough for me to know the names of the states and their capitals, but uh, to know where they lived was a step too far until I actually moved to the United States in 2008 and I took an active interest um, in the geographical uh, makeup of this country. And so today I am going to test myself for your viewing eyes on my knowledge of where all of the states are located. So let's get started. Now to do this I used a website called Sporkle.com. I don't know if you're familiar with this but it's a, a sort of general knowledge quiz uh, website. Basically you can find quizzes on absolutely anything there and sure enough when looking for a blank map and when I say a blank map I mean a map that has the state borders but it doesn't have anything written in those uh, states I found it at sporkle.com and that's what I'm going to be using today so yeah let's get underway all right that Texas that shouldn't be hard I've just been there actually well to Dallas airport if that counts Texas is the second to largest state in the union uh, I'm clicking it what's happening come on speed up it's not it's taking its time. Okay, I think it took its time because Texas is so bloody huge. All right, next one. Ohio. I should know that because I used to live right next door to it in Indiana. There's Ohio. New Jersey. I've been there once when I went to... Uh, I crossed uh, over to Staten Island when I was in New York. Um, what's next? Illinois. I live there right now. Easy one. All right. South Carolina. Never been, but I know that it's sandwiched right there between North Carolina and Georgia. Uh, Georgia came up there and that one should be it it is indeed nevada a place i've never been but i have been nearby in california uh, west virginia been there many many times love the appalachian mountains colorado i've been there twice really should know this it's next door to utah and i believe it's this one Yes, there are two sort of fully square states, or more or less. Pennsylvania, that is next door to Ohio. I've been there once at the airport in Philly. Oklahoma, I've never been there, but I do know it to be north of Texas. Uh, there we go. Vermont, again, never been there, but I know that it's up in the northeast. It's not New Hampshire, because I've driven through there, so it's the one right next to it. All right, uh, Washington State, I've been to Spokane just this year, and Washington State is up in the Pacific Northwest. Montana, uh, just over the border from Idaho, is right there. Iowa, that's next door. That's one of my neighbors uh, here in Illinois. That's nice and easy. California, as I said, I was there earlier this year as well. Nebraska, I've not been there yet, but I do know it's sandwiched between Iowa and Colorado. So we'll go there. Yes, good. New York, I've been to New York. New York, of course, there's more to New York than New York City. It is this state right here. Uh, Wyoming is the square state just above Colorado, I recall. Kansas, that's the one that's more or less in the very center of the country right there. Arkansas. Arkansas is not Missouri, that's right there. Arkansas is this one. South Dakota, if I'm not mistaken, is just south of North Dakota, which is right here. And uh, Indiana, I used to live there for eight years, and I got that one right. Rhode Island, you're tiny, you're the smallest state in the Union, and you're right here, I believe, underneath that gun that's Massachusetts. Uh, Mississippi, ooh, you're one of these. It's Alabama, and then Mississippi is right there. And then Alabama, next door neighbors. Uh, Minnesota, right up here. I love the shape of Minnesota. It looks like a, a sort of badly made boot. Uh, Missouri, uh, I live sort of next door to that, don't I? Weirdly enough, Missouri is right there. North Dakota is definitely above South Dakota. Delaware, you're pretty tiny. And I think you're sandwiched in there. Yes, there, right beneath New Jersey. Hawaii, out in the Pacific, um, or d down beneath Texas, apparently, uh, according to this map. It's the only way they can really show it, isn't it? Uh, Virginia. I have been to Virginia, and it is this one right here, just beneath West Virginia, or to the east of West Virginia, I suppose. Ooh, Arizona and New Mexico. I always get them mixed up. I believe Arizona to be this one. Yes, it is. Massachusetts, as I said earlier, is shaped like a gun, so we'll 
we'll go with that one. New Hampshire drove through that and Massachusetts come to that. But uh, New Hampshire is this one. Quick fact uh, that Maine, just uh, to the northeast of New Hampshire, is the only state in the union uh, to be uh, to be bordered by only one other state, um, which is interesting, at least in the uh, mainland U.S. In fact, no, the entire U.S., isn't it? Uh, North Carolina, of course, is north of South Carolina. And that's right there. Idaho. I think I've mentioned this. I went there earlier this year. So that's right there. Wisconsin. I went there in 2017 to Milwaukee. That's just north of where I live. Oregon. Haven't had the chance yet. Can't wait. That's uh, obviously south of Washington State. Uh, Connecticut. I did drive through there uh, on, on route to Maine years ago. Connecticut. Uh, just there. Quite a small state again, deceptively small. Florida, uh, first state that I, I sort of stayed in. That was when I was eight years old and my parents lost me in Disney World. I'll keep reminding you about that, Mum. Uh, Maryland, Maryland, uh, excuse me. British people are, are want to pronounce it that way. Uh, surrounds Washington, D.C., doesn't it? And it's this state right here. Don't know if DC is going to come up. Doesn't look like it is because it looks like actually that selection, um, you know, accounted for DC. Uh, New Mexico, as I established earlier, is this one. Maine, as I've established by going there twice, actually, is here. Tennessee is just there. Uh, Louisiana, uh, of course, is the uh, other uh, deep south state right down there. Michigan, I have been there. I've been to, uh, was it uh, uh, Ann Arbor to see Manchester United versus Real Madrid a few years ago. It was a great day out, great weekend out. Uh, and we're left with how many states? Three more states. I've got a minute to go, according to the timer. Kentucky, I should know that. Of course, it's just to the south of Indiana, where I used to live. And of course, I have visit, visited Kentucky on numerous occasions, one of which was to see the uh, solar eclipse last year in Hopkinsville. That was mighty fine. Utah. I've been to Utah. Can't tell you why, I'm afraid. Uh, top secret. You'll find out eventually, I'm sure, if you get it out of me. Uh, Utah, and we're, we're left with one, and that one, of course, is Alaska, the largest state in the Union, the state that, uh, if you include water territories, is seven times the size of the United Kingdom. It's right there. That, my friends, is 50 out of 50. Hi, thanks for watching this video again, and you can put your congratulations below in the comments. How well did I do? Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't do that well on all quizzes by any means. I just happened to have picked these uh, states up uh, over traveling and just uh, through my work. Um, but, uh, you know, if you could think of any other quizzes you'd like me to take that uh, I wouldn't be quite so good at, or maybe that I would, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as ever, thank you once again to all of our patrons, again, without whom uh, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't have vlog we wouldn't have Finding America, we wouldn't have Ask a Brit, because I wouldn't be able to justify the, the workload, essentially, and uh, and also the travel that comes into Finding America, and, and all of those uh, other things. So, once again, a big thank you, and uh, I just want to call attention to our patrons here uh, that you can see on the right side of your screen. If you would like to see your name included with these folks right here, why not become a patron of ours today? You can do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Uh, every penny seriously does help, so thank you for that, guys. And if you can't get enough of seeing me take general knowledge quizzes why not check out this video right here of me taking a u.s citizenship test i did all right but not 100 percent. and as ever hit my stupid little face to subscribe just don't break your screen i don't want to be responsible for that and follow me on instagram at lawrence.m.brown thanks bye